A trip to the South Jersey Group 1 final is up for grabs as Shalik takes on Maple Shade. The Cougars are the three seed, the Wildcats the two seed. The winner gets top seeded Glassboro in the sectional title game. Top of the first, a runner on for Stosh Pokrovsky and the Seton Hall commit sends this pitch deep to center and gone a two run blast for Stosh Pokrovsky and Shalik takes an early lead. The Wildcats go to work now in the bottom of the first. Kenny Booth with a base hit back up the middle. Derek Andrada heading for home, a bang bang play. The ball pops loose, so Andrada is safe. Booth gets Maple Shade on the board. Bottom of the second now, Dom Acevedo at the dish. Acevedo with a chopper to the left side. Harry Patton makes the play, but Eric Solom scores from third. An RBI ground out for Acevedo to tie the game at two. Same score in the bottom of the fourth. The Wildcats have runners on the corners. Shalek turns the 6-4-3 double play, but they give up a run in the process. Matt Thomas crossing the plate to give Maple Shade its first lead of the day. Wildcat starter Derek Andrada settles in and then some in this one. Andrada strikes out 11 over six and two thirds innings of work, but he reaches the pitch limit with one out to go in the seventh. And the Cougars, they take advantage. Freshman Jarrett Pokrovsky comes through in the clutch, a base hit to left to score Austin Ludwig. Jarrett Pokrovsky ties the game at three. Two batters later, base is loaded for Stosh Pokrovsky, and the senior draws a walk. Josh Mihalik trots home from third, and the Cougars take the lead. They're not done there. Sam Long with a ground ball to the left side, and it gets through. Two runs come in to score, including Patton. Six to three, Shalek. Jake McCafferty keeps the party going as he rips one down the third baseline. Two more runs cross the plate, including Long. The Cougars score six runs with two outs in the top of the seventh to take a commanding eight to three lead. Long on the hill in the bottom of the seventh and Sam Long slams the door shut with a strikeout to end it. Eight to three the final. Shalek punches a ticket to the South Jersey Championship game for the first time since 1992. It's a great feeling. We are, it's probably the best team we've had in four years I've been here, and I think we deserve to be there. So it's going to be a fun game. I can't wait to do it. So it'll be two Tri-County Conference Diamond Division rivals going at it for the South Jersey Group 1 title on Friday. Shalek versus Glassboro. In Maple Shade Township, Mike Frankel, JerseySportsZone.com.